Royals taking selfies with fans is unheard of, with strict protocol indicating it is best avoided. Speaking on the Royally Obsessed podcast, hosts Roberta Fiorita and Rachel Bowie said the pictures were a sign of his liberation from the firm. Ms. Bowie said, I love this tidbit, Harry was seen taking pics with fans before he went on, so sweet. Ms. Fiorita then speculated whether one of the performers at the event could have taken the selfies with Harry, as Selena Gomez was really excited about the Duke of Sussex being a part of the event. Ms. Bowie then asked if they were definitely selfies because it is a huge thing for him. She added, before they, Meghan and Harry, couldn't take a selfie, but now, they're free. Although no clear rules about selfies have been laid out by the firm, it is widely believed that pictures are not allowed to be taken with members of the royal family during certain outings. When Prince William and Kate Middleton visited Canada in 2016, an etiquette guide was released by the government's tourism department entitled, Meeting the Royal Family. Jennifer Gemmer, from Canada's tourism department, advised Canadians that turning your back on the royals to take a selfie was frowned upon. She said, turning your back to the Duke and Duchess and taking a selfie is discouraged if at all possible. I know it's fun to do, but they would much rather see your face. The Vax Live concert, recorded on May 2, brought together a plethora of celebrities who urged world leaders to step up coronavirus vaccine efforts. The SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, LA, was filled with fully vaccinated guests who clapped and cheered for Harry took to the stage. U.S. President Joe Biden, Jennifer Lopez, Jay Balvin and the Foo Fighters were among famous faces at the event.